Today's video is a different kind of DIY. I've been baking this pumpkin pie recipe for years and thought I'd share with you my version of Eagle Brand's perfect pumpkin pie recipe with some changes I made for my own taste. Depending on your taste, you can either follow the original Eagle Brand recipe from the website, which there's a link to in the description, or if you like a stronger taste of pumpkin and spices, you can try my version. See how I do this next. These are all the ingredients I'll use in this video for my version of the pie. The changes from the original were simple. I've added pumpkin pie spice and also doubled from the original the amount of nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. One tip I'd like to share is what I use in the kitchen when viewing recipes. Here's my recipe for today's video and to keep it on the screen and prevent the screen from sleeping, I use an app from the Google Play Store named Touch Protector. This app can display a permanent notification which you can use to activate Touch Protector. When activated, it will display a ring around the edge of the screen so you'll know it's active. At this point, the screen won't go to sleep and touching it won't accidentally start anything. To deactivate it, I've set up a hotkey of double pressing the volume down. It's a very useful app that can be used for other things where you need to keep something on the screen but not have to worry about accidentally touching the screen. Following the recipe from this point on, I'll preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit while I work on the ingredients. This recipe is perfect for me in terms of simplicity. At this point, all the ingredients go into the bowl and I'll mix as instructed using a whisk. My personal cooking skills are not anything to brag about. This pumpkin pie is about the only thing I'll put any effort into, only because I like pumpkin pie so much. I really don't like cooking anything where I have to spend more than 15 minutes working on it. If it takes longer than that, I'll always look for something else to cook. After all the ingredients are in the bowl, I'll mix it together using a spatula till it's mostly combined. Then I'll switch to the electric mixer to finish up. Pour the entire bowl of pumpkin mix into the pie crust. Use the spatula to level off the top and spread some of the excess in the center to the sides. Put the pie in the oven in the center of the middle oven rack and start the timer for 15 minutes. When the 15 minute alarm sounds, reset the oven to 350 degrees. Nothing needs to be done with the pie so you don't have to open the oven door. Set the timer now for 40 minutes. When this countdown ends, the pie will be done. When the timer alarm sounds again, bring the pie to the front of the oven. Use a toothpick or knife to poke the center of the pie and confirm there's no pie batter on it when removed. Let the pie sit for at least an hour to cool and that should be it. The dome top will sink down but that should be fine. For my appetite, the 9 inch pie makes 4 slices. This pie makes a great party contribution. It's easy to make and takes very little effort on the part of the baker. If I don't buy something ready made from the store, I'll usually make this pie to bring to a party. This is an odd video for my channel, but I hope it's a recipe you can use for years to come. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.